think I see my Easter basket in there. That was not very hard at all. What's in here? What is it? We're celebrating Easter a day early. <laughs> You gotta work on those teeth first. I'm going to be leaving at 7 a.m. on Easter Sunday. What do you think, Stella? Today is the last day, the last full day that I have before I go up to New York City to work as a nurse for eight weeks to help out with the COVID-19 situation. I wanna be sure that I'm protecting my family and not that, that I bring something home to them. I would prefer to stay away because I know that as hard as it is, it's the safest thing for them. My husband is a staff sergeant in the Army, and we have five children, ranging from 16 all the way down to this guy. Who's going to miss me the most? Me. You go. Me. He's like me. Never lets you sleep out here. That's Alex. That's what you're gonna miss. Well, Mom will be leaving her clothes here too, so that's nice. Ah, don't throw that. I've been in healthcare for 20 years. I have been a nurse for 10 years, and only recently, about 18 months ago, became a stay-at-home mom. And that was a, a big transition for me. When the COVID-19 situation started getting really bad over here, for me to sit at home when I could be helping didn't seem, it didn't seem right. I knew I could do more. Dramatic hug. I thought you were gonna be all teenager and too cool with your long hug. It's just hard to go. And my babies, and I know they need me too. Uh, it's just uh, hard. <sighs> The older kids, I hope someday looking back on all of this that they that they see somebody that didn't stand by the sidelines when it would have been easy to stay home and stay safe, but that they saw somebody who was willing to stand up and do do the right thing and try and help. Everybody wants their kids to to change the world. Hopefully this will, will help give them the courage to do that.